Welcome back, Nail Crew. Welcome back. And if you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. In this video, I'm testing all my pink acrylic, you guys. What? What? Yes, you guys, all of them. I'm testing all of them head-to-head -head competition. Now, before we get into that, let's give a hey, girl, hey to my nail sister, Shalonda. Shalonda became a member, y'all. She became a member before the premiere video even started. Do y'all see that? The video wasn't even playing. And she said she likes my extraness. So every ounce of extraness that's in this video, I dedicate to you, Shalonda. Nail crew, guess what, y'all? Guess what? I wanted to do something fun and a little bit different. So I am going to swatch all of my pink acrylics. And there could only be one, one, one best pink acrylic. So <laughs> who shall it be? Who shall it be? I got a little not polish in here. I have some IGL Beauty. I have sparkling co model ones. Yeah, so we are just going to swatch y'all and then at the end we are going to know who has the best pink acrylic. All right, y'all, let's dive in. I have my monomer and I have my acrylic brush. So the monomer that I'm using, this is the one that I sell on my website. So it's the one that I use all the time. It's the one that I would typically use when I'm working with any of these acrylics. So this is the monomer that we're gonna use today, okay? And I'll leave the link to my website in the description box. Come check me out. I am surrounded, you guys. I am surrounded by acrylic. Like, <laughs> I put the pink acrylic like around me, like almost in a rainbow. I'm too embarrassed to even show you guys what it looks like. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. All right, so the brush that I'm, this gorgeous, this brush that I'm using, this gorgeous brush that I'm using. You guys, look at that. Oh, oh, oh. This is from Tickled Pink. Can you see it? The name's on there. And it's an acrylic brush, size 12. Now I will say, honest moment time, I will say I love how the brush looks and feels and all of that, but it's so tiny. Like it's a size 12, but it looks like an eight. So if you guys are in the market for a size eight brush, I would say try their 12 and yeah, it should get the job done for you. I am going to use it in the video today because it's super cute. All right, so what do we wanna start with? I don't even know, I'm so nervous. <laughs> cast your votes right now in the comment section before I even start, cast your vote. What company do you think is gonna be the best, okay? Sparkling Co, not polish, eye gel beauty, dip and dab, but also I think I have their diamond collection as well. Um, who else do I have? Ooh, double dip, double dip came out to play, y'all. And model ones, I don't know if they, I said that previously, but yeah, so cast your vote now. Who do you think is gonna have the best pink? <laughs> I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous. I'm going to keep my thoughts to myself. Ooh, I'm going to keep my thoughts to myself. It's a tie in my head. I'm going to keep my thoughts to myself. Let's just continue. Because I don't want y'all to steal my answer. I don't want y'all to steal my answer. All right, real quick, let me go over the points. This is the way that I'll be calculating points today. So if you're smooth and not chalky, you're going to get 10 points. If you're creamy, there's no swirling going on. Like, the, you know the issues that we typically have with acrylic, like it dries too fast, it marbles when you don't want it to. Oh, okay, so if it's not doing any of that, you're gonna get 10 points. If there's a nice bead, a nice beveled bead, not flat, not powdery or anything like that, then you get a total of 10 points in the bead category. The cost, hold on to the cost. I'm going to show you that separately, how I'm going to calculate the points for the cost. But basically, the cheaper you are, ha ha ha, the more points you would get. Nikki points, Nikki points are special. You can only get a max of three Nikki points. And I'm only giving those to three, ha ha ha, only three acrylics. Oh, it's gonna get intense. It's going to get intense, you guys. So this is the way that I am going to pick the best because there can only be one. Head-to-head -head competition. <laughs> and to be fair, this is how I'm calculating the cost points. 
this is the most fair that I could do it, all right? Everything is going to be per ounce. So if the containers were really, really small or really, really large, I just did the conversion to if it was a one ounce container, how much would I pay for it, okay? So really quick, if you were less than $10, then it was 10 points. If you were $10 even, then you were nine points, 11 to $12, eight points, 13 to $14, seven points, and so on and so forth. But wait, there's more. If I have a coupon code and the coupon code makes the price so much lower that it pushes you into the next tier, well, of course, I'm going to give you a point back, okay? So I'll let you guys know what the points would have been without my code and then what it would be with my code. So, all right, now that we're all on the same page, let's get started. All right, first one up is Model 1s. Ooh, I'm quaking in my boots. I'm quaking in my boots. I'm nervous. I'm nervous, Model 1s. All right, y'all, so here we go. Here we go. <clears throat> Are y'all nervous? Is it just me? Hello, is it just me? If you're nervous, put the hands up in the comments below. I am so so nervous but the bead looks great you're gonna get a 10 for the bead you're absolutely gonna 10 for the bead all right here's what you guys came for you came for the swatch so let me magnify that it looks nice you guys it doesn't look bad at all and that color is very pretty so this is what the points come out to i'm not giving away my nikki points just yet i only have three of them so i gotta hold on to it i gotta hold on to it all right next is sparkling co you guys no, I love me some Barclay Co. Well, I love me some Model Ones too, y'all. Let's not play games here. I love Model Ones, but I also really, really love Sparkling Co. Look at that bead, you guys. Look at that bead. She was so pretty. Definitely getting a 10 for that bead. Ooh, she's nice. Here's the point breakdown for Miss Sparkling Co. Still not getting rid of those Nikki points yet. Nope, 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 nope. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Okay, not polished, not polished. I'm excited for not polished. Listen, let me tell you, I already know not polished did not come to play. I, <laughs> She did not come to play, you guys. Look at that. Look at that bead. Look at that bead. Nice and beveled. Nice and beveled. Okay. Woo-hoo-hoo. Woo-hoo. It's just not fair. Woo-hoo. <laughs> Tens across the board, except for price. Except for price. All right? So this is what it breaks down to for Miss Not Polish. Okay, moving on to iGel Beauty. Let's see what you're talking about, Miss iGel Beauty. Now, I did swatch iGel before, and some of their colors are really, really great, and some are really, really not great. And I do remember that their pinks, were not that hot for me. But look at this bead. That bead looks sexy though. Okay, I'm gonna give you 10 for that bead. That bead looked nice. But in like swatching it on the paper towel, it does feel dry and it dries really fast. And it does just a little bit, a little bit of marbling. But with all that being said, it got some Nikki points. The color is gorgeous. Hello? Nikki points okay moving on model ones and I'm going so quick you guys because otherwise we'll be here till tomorrow okay so model ones is next this color is beautiful this is a really really like mauve color I would see this in the fall this is a really pretty fall color also summertime too just depending on how you pair it I'm going to swatch her over here next to the first model ones just because they look so pretty together. <laughs> they just look so good. Like you could do a bomb ombre with that. Oh my gosh. So far, all the pinks are just like, oh, I just love them. I just love all of them. Okay. So this is the point breakdown for model ones. Okay. Moving on. Let's head back over to Miss iGel Beauty. This is color Toxic Pink. Come on, Toxic Pink. Come on, honey. Let's do better than last time. Like, I'm really rooting for iGel Beauty because now that they have the diamond collection, I really like their diamond collection. I don't so much care for the dip and dab, you know, just because it's not consistent. But the diamond collection so far is nice. All right, so this is getting a 10 for the bead. But y'all, it dries so fast. It's like I can't even enjoy 
playing with it and molding it. So, mm -mm. and you're not getting Nikki points because the color is really, really pretty. But I only have two Nikki points left and I'm not ready to get rid of them yet. Okay. So, nope. This is the score breakdown for iGel Beauty. Womp, womp, womp. All right, model ones. Let's see what you can do, baby. All right. So, you'll see it in just a minute. I've already swatched this color, you guys. I swatched it before I even turned the daggone recorder back on. But then I was like, what? Oh my God. I hate when that happens. Here we go. I have to swatch it again. So the bead looks beautiful and that's where I swatched it the first time. So I'm just going to swatch it underneath it. Bead looks beautiful. So definitely getting a 10 there. The color is gorgeous. Look at that color. That just says springtime, summertime. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, Am I going to give it a Nikki point? No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. So yeah, this is the breakdown. <laughs> This is the breakdown. No Nikki points for you, but you didn't do bad. You really, really didn't do bad. I feel like if you get higher than 30, then yeah, it's a really good find. All right. So next is Not Polish. Not Polish did really, really good last time. So are you going to top yourself, Not Polish? Like, are you going to just come and dominate? Oh my gosh, that would just not be fair. <laughs> The bead was gorgeous. It feels creamy and luxurious and just all of that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I guess you guys already know Not Polish gets a 38. Not Polish gets a 38. Model ones, you're up, darling. You are up, color number two. Let's see what you can do. Let's see what you can do. Color is gorgeous. The color is absolutely gorgeous. I feel like I am the announcer on like a runway. Here comes color number two, walking down the runway. Look at that bead. Honey, yes, look at that bead. Give it up for number two, you guys, as she spreads on the paper towel. Oh my gosh, absolutely gorgeous. The color is stunning, you guys. Absolutely stunning. <laughs> <laughs> this is the point breakdown. And yes, absolutely you're getting Nikki points. All right, you guys, I only have one Nikki point left. Oh my gosh, who's going to get it? Who's going to get it? Who's going to get it? All right, so now we have IGL Beauty, but we have their Diamond Collection. Not polished, where you at? Hey, let's see. Is the Diamond Collection going to knock you down? The bead, she's a sexy bead, you guys. But I am going to deduct one point on the bead because when I picked it up, all the other colors got fully saturated by the monomer. Like the, as soon as I picked it up and turned it over to show you guys in the camera, the bead was fully saturated. But with this one, it wasn't, full, like I had to wait a second before it was fully saturated. So there's one point coming off. I know I'm technical, I know, but this is the scoreboard. She's looking really, really good. She's looking really, really good. Okay, not polished. Here's another not polished. Let's see where you're at, okay? And look at the bead, look at the bead so you'll know like exactly what I mean. As soon as you hit it with the brush, it just fully soaks up the monomer and it gives you a nice pearl right away, whereas the other one didn't. I just had to wait a second, you know? And you know, time is money sometimes. So if you guys noticed, that one picked up really well. Just pay attention going forward. I don't wanna keep talking about it, but watch more closely and you'll get what I mean. All right, so back to this color from Not Polish. It felt really good, but it did it didn't feel like a 10 so I did deduct a point I did deduct a point so we do have some nines on the board but the color is so beautiful I gave it my Nikki points yes you guys my last one I gave it away I gave it away let me see let me see I got another not polish I did not realize I had this many pinks from not polish I really have a problem either I really really like not polish and I'm just addicted to buying stuff off their site, or I'm really addicted to pink. I don't know, you guys, but I've swatched a lot of pinks and I'm still going. So. <laughs> 
so yeah <laughs> all right you guys so what do you think what do you think i'm going to give this tens baby duh are you guys rating this at home are you guys doing this i hope you're doing this with me like it's not gonna be fun if i'm doing this on my own you guys have to rate them as well and don't be stingy do not be stingy i'm sharing my ratings with you openly and honestly don't hide yours from me all right so not polish again shall we all right let's see Speed was beautiful as always creamy feeling nice but again again not as good as the first one you know like it just felt like a little different anyway here's the breakdown still not bad a nine is really really good really really good okay sparkling co sparkling co here we go again with my sparkling co you know i love you you know i love you sparkling co okay here we go let's play with you all right so just like i did before nice bead beautiful bead beautiful bead let's watch let's watch let's watch and swatch okay okay uh i don't even know what to say okay so there was a little bit of swirling which i don't even understand like i, I, I I don't even understand. I don't even There was some swirling going on, which is not typical, you guys. Anyway, this is what the breakdown looks like. I'm very confused. But, you know, let's move on. Let's move on. Hmm. All right. Next, we have double dipped. Now, let me just go ahead and say, let me just go ahead and say for the newbies, okay, that's going to type in the comments, those are dip powders. I know that they are dip powders, okay? Most of everything I'm showing you today, they're marketed as dip powders, but I like to use them with monomer. So let's continue. All right, so the bead with a double dip was really, really nice. Getting a 10 in the bead category. Overall, you guys, Hmm, overall, not bad. This is what it looks like. And again, these are all dip powders. Okay, back to not polish. You guys, I cannot believe I literally have this, but it's almost embarrassing at this point. But here we go, not polish. So remember in the beginning of the video when I said there was a tie in my head for two people or two companies that I thought was gonna do well? Well, obviously not polish was one of those companies, but the other one I'm not gonna say but oh my gosh, I was very shocked. Who do you guys think? Did you already put your vote down? Stop cheating. See, I knew somebody was going to cheat. I told you in the beginning of the video, go ahead and put your vote down. If you did not, you're cheating. This is the breakdown for not polish, but nobody's really surprised. All right, Sparkling Co., Sparkling Co., back up on the board. Do not disappoint me, Sparkling Co., because the last one I swatched from you... I was very sad and embarrassed almost you know what i mean so let's see let's see let's see okay she made it up to me you made it up to me darling you made it up you made it up thank you because i'm recommending sparkling co left and right left and right you gotta do me right you gotta do me right all right sparkling co you back up on the board They're doing very well okay igl beauty diamond diamond collection diamond collection let's see what you got darling let's see what you got the bead again okay you see what i mean do you see what i mean slow to absorb the powder so for that i am going to drop you down a point i'm sorry the facts are the facts okay it is what it is everything else really really nice didn't feel as nice as some of the previous eye gels that i have swatched today but you are definitely definitely hanging in there definitely a top contender this is the point breakdown for you darling and overall you guys overall this is the scoreboard not polished definitely won but the scores were really really close you guys so basically what does this tell you this tells you that if you want a bomb pink acrylic that's going to be worth the price that's creamy that's smooth that's the buttery you gotta get color number nine to eat for the time. 
basically that's what it boils down to. Now the next color that I'm swatching is green. Not polished and not win, you guys. <laughs> you gotta stay tuned. You gotta stay tuned to see who took out the champ. <laughs> All right, y'all. That's a wrap. I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>